and today I am in my kitchen because I am doing another Keto Talk episode. In this episode, I'm going to be going over gut health and what I'm doing and consuming in order to kind of manage and get my gut health at the optimal level and so I can be the healthiest me possible. Um, if you are somebody who is new to my channel, again, my name is Erin, and I am somebody who is on a ketogenic diet. I'm finding this diet to be incredibly helpful to kind of establish my, my own optimal health and just kind of wellness in general. And so I hope you stick around because I've got a lot of good information to go over. Um, like I said, I am somebody who is you know, using my gut health as a means to try and get to my optimal health. Um, gut health is something that's really important to kind of take charge of and get ahead of because when your gut's healthy, you know, it filters into all the other systems within your body. You know, think about it. When you take your food in, um, when you take anything in, it goes through your gut and then it filters it through. So having a good, well-balanced gut will mean that you have, you know, better well-balanced systems throughout. So um, I use a lot of different things in order to kind of promote regulate and establish that good gut health um, and one of them is a lot of foods that are full of probiotics and the second thing is a lot of foods that are filled with good fiber in order to kind of help absorb those probiotics and kind of really feed them once they're in there and kind of just keep everything moving if you know what I mean. So um, that being said I'm just going to go over some of the foods I am using that are full of great probiotics and then two of the products that I'm using or two of the sources that I'm using in order to get really good fiber into my diet. Sauerkraut, fermented vegetables, kimchi, fermented pickles, raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar, kombucha, kefir, coconut yogurt, and a general probiotic. Another thing that kind of helps to feed and create probiotics, but also kind of helps to establish and maintain them is grass-fed dairy product. And the other thing, the two that I'm using to kind of help with that good fiber and kind of establish the uh, right climate and environment for this fermented probiotic goodness to get into is things like chia seeds, which have a ton of fiber, and then good green leafy vegetables. So just to kind of go over things really quickly, I like this Farmhouse Cultures brand, um, but you don't have to specifically buy this brand. I think there's tons of different brands out there that kind of do the same thing. And basically it is a brand that has packaged and kind of created their um, sauerkraut or their fermented vegetables or kimchi in a way that promotes once these um, probiotics are kind of percolating in there um, to continue to breed and kind of grow so that way you're getting the maximum amount of probiotic in each bite um, and so I like that I like things like sauerkraut and fermented vegetables because um, they do kind of establish and get in very easily that good gut health. I will say with fermented vegetables, if you are on a keto diet, to be really mindful of the fact that a lot of these will contain things like carrots or other root vegetables, and those can be higher in carbs. So just um, limit the amount that you're consuming. I like this one. I'll have a couple, like a tablespoon of it or just a couple quick little pieces of it um, in order to kind of get it in there. But it's also got, um, I'm hoping this will show up, got a lot of the actual like juice in there that's really where you're getting a lot of the um, probiotics from farmhouse cultures also does a product called like gut shots which is basically just the juice from these and there's no carbs in that basically uh, I think maybe one has one carb but you can just chug those throughout the day in order to get a lot of probiotics in there <sighs> the other thing that I kind of held up was fermented pickles um, I like this brand Bubbies um, because they are real pickles and that's what you want to be mindful of when you buy pickles. Um, if your pickles are on the grocery store shelf in the dry section, they're not going to be fermented. Um, they're typically going to be processed through white vinegar and that will not get the good gut bacteria forming, um, the good gut health from the pickles. Um, and so, yeah, you want to kind of find one that's refrigerated and that says on the packaging these are um, real processed pickles, no sugar added, no vinegars used in order to make it pickle. <laughs> um, the other item that I held up, and this is an item I use very frequently, and that's apple cider vinegar. Um, if you get a raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar, you will be able to um, 
get the probiotic benefit from this as well. Um, I do a couple shots of this throughout the day. I mainly use it for my heartburn, which shows you that um, it does help with kind of establishing and kind of regulating the pH within your gut. And that is something that you definitely <laughs> need in order to be healthy. Um, the other two items that I held up was these packaging. Um, one is real, or it's kombucha, the other one is kefir. Um, I think it's, if you're on a ketogenic diet, um, it's best to make these items at home because a lot of the products out there do use sugar in their processing. I've yet to find a kefir that um, doesn't have a ton of sugar in it and um, probably half of the kombuchas that are you know in the grocery store that you can grab have sugars in them and then they're also, their packaging can be misleading to show Show that um, you know it doesn't have a ton of carbs or sugar but then it's really like three or four servings in a 12 ounce bottle and so um, you know you're if you drink the entire thing you'll get the you know all that sugar in there so making it at home you can make your own flavors you can play around with it um, basically when you're making um, kombucha this is just a a thing called a scoby and that kind of ferments um, and gets all that fermented goodness that probiotic goodness um, into the drink and then you drink it and it gets into your system so the other product that I held up was um, coconut yogurt um, yogurt naturally fermented um, has a ton of probiotics in it I like coconut yogurt best because Typically, there's less sugar in it if you just get the raw, plain um, product. I would say that this tastes like coconut mixed with baking soda. Um, so it's kind of like a bubbly coconut taste, but um, again, you're getting all those great cultures in there and establishing your gut health. All right, so the last um, kind of item I'm gonna hold up is a probiotic in general and get out of that shot. Um, basically, when you have a probiotic, you're getting the sources in there. Um, I like to get it from food as much as possible just because I feel like it's the easiest way to get it in there and I'm getting it in through really tasty foods that I like and enjoy. But when in doubt, probiotic, supplement it out. That was, sorry, I'm, I can't even begin to apologize. <laughs> um, so the, the kind of giver as well as supporter in establishing good gut health is things like grass-fed um, dairy products. Um, I particularly like raw grass-fed cheese. Um, that really helps, but butter also helps as well. Um, it helps to kind of create the good environment in order for those other products to grow, but it can also naturally help you produce the right gut health um, and, you know, probiotics within your system. So it's kind of a bridge between helping you to create, but helping to support the other ones if you're bringing it in there. Um, the thing that I will say, and I'm just gonna hold up kind of two examples of this, is getting good fiber into your body, specifically soluble fiber, um, will kind of help to support all of that other um, probiotics, gut function, and just kind of keep things moving, keep your system going. And so one of the easy ways that I have found um, on this keto quest is chia seeds. And a serving of this is 13 carbs, but it's 11 um, fiber. So it's two net carbs within a serving of chia seeds. So not too bad. I don't do that one every day, um, but if I do the, um, you know, it's an easy way to get it in there. I find that I can find a lot of really great protein um, keto bars and they will use chia seed as the fiber in it in order to kind of create it and thicken it up. Um, chia seeds is really great for that. So if you're thinking about making bars at home, chia seeds is a great option. They are kind of, um, you know, hard and they can get kind of um, slimy on the outside and can get stuck in your teeth. So just be mindful of that when you eat chia seeds. Uh, maybe don't, you know, take a big serving of chia seeds and then give a speech or something. Um, a lot of people uh, will put chia seeds in things like water in order to get that good fiber in there and then just kind of crunch it down. Um, that's something I do sometimes, but you know, you can put them on salads, you can put them into bars, like I said, you can cook with them. Um, they're pretty versatile with their uses. 
the other thing um, is just getting really good leafy green vegetables in there um, that will help to kind of give you that good fiber, kind of push things through again, support the good probiotics that you're bringing in, as well as push all that other stuff out. Um, when you have a good, well-supported gut, you're less likely to get you know sick, you'll have better immune systems, you'll have better function with absorbing and taking in the nutrients from your food, and just kind of establishing that better health in general. And so that's why gut health is very important. If you are somebody that is new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe because I do put out videos like this regularly and I find them beneficial, I rewatch them and I find them beneficial, and so I hope you guys are as well. And if you are a returning subscriber, go ahead and like this video because it lets me know that I am doing you guys good and giving you quality videos that you are enjoying and are finding educational or helpful as you go on your own health journey. So again, until next time, I hope you guys are doing well, I hope everything is going great, and I will see you guys later. Bye!